to another episode of A Gentleman's Guide to Peer-to-Peer -peer Lending. Uh, this week we are going to be focusing on innovation, specifically how you can be innovative while staying true to the original principles of peer-to-peer -peer lending. We're also going to show you a lovely bird's eye view of Bratislava from above and what it's like to have a beer in virtual reality. But before we get started with all that, let's talk about some of the famous Slovakians in the sporting world. Uh, Slovakia is, of course, best known for the great ice hockey players. They have exported around the world to places like Russia, the U.S., and Canada, many of whom have great careers despite their names being somewhat mistranslated. You see, it wasn't actually Satan who was helping the Buffalo Sabres score all those goals and almost win the championship in the 1990s. And it was actually Miroslav Shatan. That's Miroslav Shatan, not Satan. Um, other players? have not had their names so mistranslated, but they just sound a little bit funny in Slovak. Peter Stasny, for example, actually literally translates as Peter Happy. Slovakians are also extremely successful in the cycling world, uh, with Peter Sagan winning just about every title imaginable, including the Tour de France Total Points Championship five times. He's only the second person ever to do that, and he's still going strong. In women's tennis, the current world number six ranked player is Dominika Tsibulkova, who is actually right here from Bratislava. So, did you know they're Slovakian? Well, now you know. So, in this week's Fresh and Fruity interview, we are joined by Hendrik Grimer, who is on the board here at Zloty Mel. And obviously this week we're talking about uh, innovation. So Hendrik, can you tell us some of the innovative things that are going on here at Zloty Mellon? Thank you, Josh, uh, for giving me the opportunity to talk about innovation at, at Slotty Mellon. I think by definition, as a peer-to-peer -peer lender, you have to be innovative because you talk about a lending process and investment process, which is fully online. But let me add uh, two more products, which I think are very innovative uh, for Slotty Mellon uh, and also for the Slovak market. It's the cash-free loan, which is a product that we offer to people who start buying their houses, but do not get, at the early stage, a loan from the bank. And we help them in bridging this phase where they acquire the house and the apartment or house gets ready. We call it a cash-free loan. Uh, another product is a short-term loan that we introduced recently. Small ticket size of a loan for a very short period. That's, you know, to get to know each other a bit better. So I'm going to press you on one thing though, because I know everyone out there is thinking the same thing, at least in the UK, which is when you say reasonable interest rate, is this the thousands of percent or even the hundreds of percent APR that UK short-term loan providers, or is it cheaper? Yeah, exactly. But very clearly, uh, we talk here about, let's say, 10 to 20 percent of uh, interest rates yeah, for the borrowers, which compared to what they typically pay is 30, 40, 50 or 60 or even higher percentages for those loans. So really, it is significantly cheaper uh, for those people. So can you tell us a little bit about what's in the pipeline? What's the secret sauce that you're looking on is bringing to the peer-to-peer -peer lending game soon? Yeah, that we're going to um, uh, enter the market with a so-called top-up mortgage loan. Uh, that should help people to finance the latter, last part of, uh, of their houses, because banks will only finance up to 80%. And we'll support them in acquiring the full house by financing the last part of it. So you're helping people with the deposits. They don't need that 20,000 pounds just in the cookie jar waiting for that house. Exactly. So we help them to jump quicker on the ladder of the housing market. Um, thank you so much for your time and uh, join us next week for another fresh and fruity interview. Dobrenia. Dobrenia. So, it is officially summer here in Bratislava and because I'm English that means I am officially melting. But we are committed to continue to show you the sights and sounds of Bratislava. So we are going today in this blistering heat to climb all 50 meters of the famous Mikkel's Gate Tower. So let's go check it out, shall we? So we made it, just barely. As you can see behind me, I hope this is all worth it. Lovely, beautiful buildings. Bratislava Castle is over there and right now I'm exhausted and I think I've lost half of my body weight in sweat. So we're gonna join these hundreds of tourists down here who I can only assume are here because they watch my videos each week and we're gonna find some place to have a nice cold refreshing Slovak beer 
and I think where we're gonna go is Bratislava's virtual reality bar. Let's go check it out. So, here we are, the virtual reality bar in Bratislava. As far as I see, it's the best of both worlds. You get all the latest virtual reality games, but the beers are 100% real. So, here's a selection of the games, and that's the here. This is a dream! So let me take you on a trip. This is a dream, a virtual reality. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of A Gentleman's Guide to Peer-to-Peer -peer Learning. Uh, that's all we have time for this week, but please join us next week to find out more fun facts about peer-to-peer -peer learning and Slovakia. And as always, please send us all your comments and feedback in the comments below. See you next week. Dovidenia.